Hello everyone, in this video we'll take a look at Sergam email worm. This worm this worm spread to email and network share. Before we take a look at the worm, we'll take a look at some confidential documents. So first we got it's a confidential document and should not be shared. Could be you should get out of here. And the entire lyrics of Trusha P song again and speaking of Trusha P, congratulations on your two hundred thousand subscriber. Uh, I I I love your music but uh I'm new to the Vocaloids genre and um, top 10 viruses of 2001 spreadsheet you can see Sircam on the second I got this from some source on the internet and we got a zip zip file re with Reche back on it and this is a quote from my friend on uh, the Matrix channel you can see that uh, you should give me a chocolate bar otherwise you will face the consequences and trust your P with 200,000 subscriber and uh, infected and uh, email uh, and an image of how uh, a search camp image email should look like now with that out of the way we'll take a look at the worm itself and it looks like a HTML file huh but no it's a it's an application as you can see so we run the worm and now nothing happened but now we be we are now infected with search camp. So we'll take a look at the ratchet it on uh, Hickey local machine on circuit we can see that it had its own sub key for uh, the worm worm install location fc0 contain how many times the worm had executed fc1 appears to be the versioning number and uh, fd5 is the smtp server i don't know other i don't know about the others and uh, we will take a look at some other version run services we can see that the driver 32 this is actually the warmest cell which which will run on uh, on a new window session now the last thing to look at the registry i should learn to use the scroll bar EC5 shell open command we can see that this is the worm executable so every time when you run a program we will run the worm and then the program you're looking for now it also drops some files which we'll be looking SCAM32, SE.DOL, and SCW1.DOL. We will look at the uh, notepad. So, SCAM32 is the warm executable. SCD.DOL is, is uh, all the files that it had collect for email spreading routine. SCW1 is a list of email that it had obtained from our computer. There's also a bar. There's also a character limit. Made on uh, how many character an email should have. So this email is more than 48 characters. So so uh, this email does not look okay. All right, and that's it for the. Oh, and. I forgot to mention that it also copied to the recycle bin, but we will not be able to see the recycle bin because it's not there. So, so we look at the folder in the uh, recycle bin. We can see that uh, it had to copy the worm there and uh, top ten viruses two thousand one dot pip which is uh, which is uh, the uh, which is this document and and the worm itself so every so uh, which it used for the email screen routine so now so now when uh, they receive an email with your with this in it they open it they get uh, to see the confidential document and at the same time they become infected with with Sir Cam. 
So we'll take a look at the SMTP server and uh, as we're talking, it's already done its job on uh, on email threading. We'll get a few seconds to make sure it can thread to... Alright, so now we got... Okay, so it has sent itself to download one email. Let's send receive on this machine and now we got a new email. Top 10 viruses of 2001 with a uh, empty text file and the attachment cell which is top 10 viruses of 2001.pip as I the pip when we open it we can see we get the document but at the same time we got infected with Surcam. luckily this worm does not function on NTFS file system so since we are running Windows XP on this machine we are safe from Surcam. At least for now. And uh, hi, how are you? I sent this file in order to have your advice. See you later. Thanks. This actually, be, this call actually became a joke uh, back in the day. All right. And uh, there's also a very destructive payload activating in uh, October 16 of. October 16 which it will delete every files in the C directory there's also a payload where it will uh, create a circam.sys file which will uh, write something to it until the disk is full well it's pretty destructive because when you become infected with this worm it sends confidential documents or anything on the my documents or desktop to everyone in the contacts which could lead to a very bad data leak. It's somewhat uh, similar to Manchester, which Dan one had done a video on it, but this uh, does not only target uh, governments or political uh, things. There's also some uh, removal tools out there which can help you get rid of the uh, Sircam worm. And I guess that's it. Thank you for watching.